CB silkscreen art and etching art. I reckon it'd be interesting to put a video about this because I seem to have an, uh, enough PCBs which have this interesting phenomenon of engineers basically making their personal mark. I do it all the time in my work. And there are some corporations who allow it, although not all. Compaco were good ones for allowing it. As these boards are both Compaco. In fact, I have. There's very few boards I've come across from Compaco that don't have it. IBM sometimes do. As I shall demonstrate, I mean, the IBM just has a. Hang on, let's just force it to focus. There we go. IBM has like a thing of the US of IBM in it, which is more of a corporate one than a personal one by an engineer or engineering team. This is an IBM SCSI board for servers, obviously. It has your 64 bit header. Mm, whack. Then we come to one of the smaller Compaco ones, which once again has one of these funky headers. SCSI board once again, these are all SCSI boards I'm showing, but this one also has VGA out. I don't know if it's super VGA or not. But the interesting little bit of silkscreen art on this is one of these helicopter thing bond drives. You know, the little one that propeller at the back and the main one. An interesting little note. Maybe they were a fan of the Bond film. Who knows? speculation tool. What all these things mean is interesting if you ask me. And the last one of the SCSI boards is this beastie, another large SCSI board, but standard PCI, so if you've got a big enough case you can stick this in a standard PC. And this one has your ASCII, well not ASCII, I'll keep it focus in and we've got some emo lad. Now I don't know if this was the engineer's son, boyfriend, friend or what relationship. But it's quite an interesting one. And of course we got the rest of the PCB which has all your lovely electronic goodness which we're not going to go into here but we give a nice shot. All the battery backups are under here, and there's a lot of them, and they still have voltage. So these SCSI cards are probably still good. And they're from the 1990s, these two. Out the same machine. Yep, this machine had two SCSI cards that this one came out of. Right, to the garage to show you the other bit, I mean. Another piece of silk screen art that exists on PCBs. We have this lovely Cyclops on my Compaco Prezio. This machine. Look, the motherboard's missing. You can see the back of all the drives. Fascinating. But yeah. An interesting note is, well, it's a shame this Compaco got taken over by HP because they were a very good company. I think it's fitting to do it next to the IBM 5150. We have an IBM hard drive from 1995. Look at the size of it, it's massive. SCSI. Everyone loves a good bit of SCSI. And the circuit board art on this. Let's get the camera to focus. Whee! There we go. This is a rather lovely etched in scorpion. Just randomly on a ground plane, out of the way, not interfering with any electronics. So why not? An interesting note I think to note of these various forms of circuit board art. You get similar things with actual internal IC dies, but of course you need a microscope to see them where people do similar sorts of little doodles in the actual chips as well as in the case, as in the case of the Apple Mac the original Mac, that is, not the modern Macs all the engineers actually signed the inside of the case or at least it was in the moulding 
So if you cracked it open, you'd get all the signatures of all the engineers and that involved. I think even Steve Jobs' signature was in there. Another interesting note, I reckon. So, that's all. Quick video. Nice little fun topic. Thanks for watching.